how to make a YouTube video introduction. So I got a great question from one of my YouTube viewers, love you guys, Valerie, who wrote in to say, Hello Evan, any suggestions of what I could do for a YouTube introduction? I got to do some thinking about this and really need help and don't have the budget yet to hire somebody to help me. Would you give me some suggestions or send me you doing yours again so I can watch again? Thanks Evan, Valerie. So Valerie, it's a great question and don't worry about having to go and hire somebody, okay? You can do a great video on your own. The key is that it's passionate and personal. And some of the best videos out there are not super high budget, but you can connect with that person. That's the key. You have to make that connection to somebody. So how do you do it? Here's what I would do. Number one, start with a powerful opinion. What do you stand for? Who is Valerie? Why are you here? What is so important? What is wrong with the world right now? I want you to share a powerful opinion to make me see if, if I agree with you and I want to stay subscribed to your channel or if I think, hey, you know, Valerie's totally out to lunch and I'm going to go somewhere else. Because most people in their videos are boring, they're vanilla. Most people in their marketing, the marketing your companies is boring. There's nothing that makes you stand out versus anybody else. So stand for something important. Because the people who feel the same way will flock to you. Like-minded people will flock to you and say, yeah, that's our leader. I agree. I want to be a part of this thing that she's creating. So tell me what you stand for. And when you say it, it's got to have passion and excitement. It's sometimes hard speaking in front of the camera because there's no, there's no audience, right? But imagine a conversation you're having with a friend about a, a topic that's really important to you. Some of the things that you're going to be sharing on your channel. That friend is in front of you now, not the camera. Speak to me like that and get excited and get passionate. And this video will probably take you a lot of takes. Okay, you won't get it done in your first take. That's okay. It may take you 50, 100 takes to get it right. But you gotta have that energy. It's gotta be something you're feeling in the moment. And then also, when you watch it again and you see yourself talking, you get excited. Say, yeah, that's why I'm doing this. Right? That's what you need to lead with. Some passion. Number two, tell your story. Who's Valerie? Why are you doing this? Why should I care? Where did you come from? Why does this mean so much to you? Tell me a story. I'm not a boring, resume story right like i worked at a company from 1995 to like nobody cares about that stuff tell me a story that connects to your mission and also gives me a teachable lesson i'm going to learn from it somehow through your story i'm going to become a better person i'm going to learn something new so an example so i i work with entrepreneurs i believe in entrepreneurs right it's easy to know what i stand for as a story i might say I might talk about when I was first starting up and I had my business and I was making $300 a month and not able to survive and eating beans for lunch every day and feeling like my self-worth was being crushed, my soul was being stamped on and not getting any momentum after feeling like I'm working so hard for this, why am I not seeing any results? And I got a job offer from what seemed to be a dream job only a couple years ago to make eighty dollars to $100,000 and travel the world. and do what I thought I wanted to do and somehow I, I didn't know what I wanted to do. Should I run my company where I'm, I'm sucking and not making any results and I feel like garbage or should I go for this dream job that I always wanted and something kept me at I want to take this business and I want to turn it into something because I didn't want to live with regret. I didn't want to live with regret and see somebody else make tons of money off this idea and then I end up with some crappy job you know where I'm working 80 to 100 hours for somebody else and regret not having the courage to go and follow my dream and, and do my own business. So that's, that's a story I might talk about. I share lots of stories in my videos. And the teachable lesson there is, don't live with regret, right? Don't live with regret. So tell me your story. Tell me your story that connects with your audience and give me a teachable lesson that I can learn from it. So that also should be passionate. And when you're talking about it, you get, you get moved, especially if you're talking about a hard time in your life. Number three, tell me what I'll get. So if I come and subscribe to your channel, what am I going to get? What are you going to give me? Is it a, are you doing interviews or is it an opinion piece? Are you launching music videos? Like what's going to happen on your channel? And how often is it going to come out? Is it every day, every week, once a month? What is it? Give me some expectations. So in that third part, you're telling me if I subscribe to your channel, here's what I can expect. 
right? And, and it may change over time. And if that changes, then maybe you do a new video welcome, right? And, and you'll get better every time you do it. And then finally, I would just connect with the audience and let them know how important everything is to you, your, how important their involvement is, that you want them to comment and you want them to get involved and you value their feedback. There's so many people who I've left comments on their YouTube videos and I never get a response, you know, never get a thumbs up, don't know if it even makes a difference for them. And then others who you leave a comment and you get a response right away and and you ask them to do a video and they'll make a video response, just like this, right? You wrote into me, you asked me for help to make a YouTube intro and here I am answering your question. Right? So you want to be open and accessible and make people feel welcome. So sharing a little bit at the end, saying you welcome their feedback, you'd love to help them out if they have questions, leave a comment, you'll make a video response. And thank them for joining. And when you're saying thank you, like genuinely feel it. Like thank you, thank you so much for joining. Not, and thank you for joining my channel. Because it seems distant, right? You're going to feel great when somebody subscribes to your channel. So try to, try to, be in that moment where somebody just clicked subscribe or somebody just left a great comment on one of your videos and channel that to say thank you and really feel it in the moment. So that's my advice to create a great YouTube intro. Don't worry if it sucks at the start, just keep practicing, you will get better. And when you do put it up, send it to me because I'd love to see it. Believe. For those of you watching and you like the video, please consider clicking on the link in the description to support me. You can leave a comment, let me know what you think, and click on my face, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.